Hey guys, I'm back. It's the first day I've commuted in about 10 days. Every day has had either the threat of rain, outright rain, or it's just been obscenely hot. Anyway, it's good to be back on my bike heading to work. I did get a nice ride in on the weekend, but I haven't commuted in a while because of the conditions. So, what's new? Um, this is the year of the cat, apparently. If you saw my blog earlier about catching cats at work. I don't know if I give off a certain scent or something, but I now have a cat been coming around at home. My wife and I have two cats. They're indoor. And she does take them out on the leash, which is pretty funny. I'll walk around the yard once in a while. But they're indoor cats. Females. But over the last couple of weeks, we started seeing this tabby, the orange tabby cat around our woods. And suddenly, it was like last Thursday or Friday night, I just happened to go over to the back screen door around 7 o'clock and I heard some crying. It turns out it was under our deck, meowing its head off. So I felt bad for the thing. What am I going to do? Feed it, obviously. Which means, what's it going to do? It knows it's, oh, I get food here, you know. Why do I sense we've picked up another pathetic life form? So it devoured a can of food. And then it wandered off. So I think the next night I was able to feed it again. Anyway, last night, I didn't see it for a couple days because of the rain. It came back last night. I didn't even know if it was a male or female. I wandered out put down its, its food on a plate and then I sat down in a chair about 10 feet away and coaxed it out from under our deck and it took it took it several tries you know it would come out and then it would retreat but finally it was like screw it I'm eating <laughs> so it came out and ate the food and then it kind of calmed down a little bit and then it went back under the deck and just started me out again and then it laid down like hi I could take a nap right here so my wife handed me out some more food some dry food <clears throat> and this time I sat down on the grass about six or so feet away and I, I somewhere in, in all this I got a, a look at his rear and, he, and it's a boy it, it is a boy so I coaxed him out again, and it was so funny, you know, he crept up to me, I had my hand out, and he just kind of bumped my finger with his nose and retreated. Come on, Orange. Come on, Orange. Come on, boy. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. And he did that again once or two more times. And then, you know, he came back out, and this time he kind of gave my hand a little rub with his head, and then, he, you know, so we just kept doing this. And, oh, that looks safe. So eventually he came, came to me, and I put my hand out, and he just let me rub his head all over. He just loved that. He did that for a solid couple minutes. And then I was petting him on his back and stuff. And he was still a little pretty skittish. I went and got him a, a bowl of water and when I came back with it, <laughs> he just didn't know what was going on. He just, but definitely someone's pet at one point, not a feral cat. Um, and it is sad, I'll tell you. You know, we love our cats. They were both rescues from the shelter. And so I took some pictures of this male and I went online and there are places on Craigslist, Facebook, and the local humane society that have lost and found postings. 
and I didn't see anyone looking for a cat like this within over 50 miles of my area. But when you see all the people that have lost pets, that is rough. That is rough. You know, we had our first cat when we got married, we had for 17 or 18 years, I, mean, I think 17, it was a long time. And he was, we, we literally had him since the day we got married. And he was a part of our family. I mean, our son was born, you know, this cat was all he knew as a pet his whole life. So when he, when it was his time, it was really hard. <clears throat> and about a little after, a year or so after that, we got another cat in the shelter. And this was a little different story. Uh, this was a cat that was an outdoor cat. We wanted him to be an indoor cat. But he, he had... Yeah, he, he wasn't going to have it have it that way. And he sprayed in the house and stuff. So finally, we realized you know, he, we had to let him out in the morning. And he always hung around local, but one day he never came back. And I have some theories about that. But, you know, again, just really, it's always hard when you, when you lose an animal. So when you go online and you see, you know, page after page of people looking for lost pets, it just, it's not a happy thing. So I'm hopeful, I posted a, a listing for found cat, and I'm really hoping someone claims them, because that would be the easiest thing in the world. You know, come on over, be reunited with your, your pet. But if that doesn't happen, which sadly it probably won't, um, we're going to have to get this guy to the vet, get him shots, inspected and all that, and it's July, so we have time, it's not going to get cold yet, but we got to find this guy a home, you know, if I had a barn or something where I could have an outside cat, I would, but we have foxes, and coyotes, and, you know, all, every animal imaginable here in the Northeast that not good place to have an outside only cat and I don't think we could bring him in with our two cats already I don't think that would go well anyway so that's uh, the current little thing going on to try and get this cat straightened about but I'll tell you what a beautiful beautiful cat Not so much orange as like a light tan or something, and the eyes and the face and everything, so beautiful and, and big, you know, long, not, not heavy, a little lanky because it's probably not eaten as well as a, a house cat would, but long, you know, this is a, a nice sized cat, I have no idea how old. But you know, I would love to have this cat as a pet. Very affectionate. But, you know, there's only so much we can do in situations like this. So, that's what's going on. Lastly, I'm going to uh, BRC2 class on Sunday. I've been, I tried twice last year and the weather didn't cooperate both times. This Sunday is supposed to be 81, which is great, but a couple of thunderstorms, so, you know, either it'll be a good day or I'll get wet, but I'm doing it either way, so, and then in August I have advanced rider class, so I've got some nice things to look forward to on my bike. I hope everyone is well, enjoying the summer, it has been way too wet and now pretty hot, but better than white stuff. Till next time.